hello everyone in this video i am going to discuss about the behavior of a pure inductor on a dc supply you must have heard this statement that an inductor behaves like a short circuit on a dc supply in this video i am going to discuss and try to make you understand that uh, how is it possible and uh, what is the fundamental concept behind it you can see here this basic circuit diagram here the inductor connected is pure inductor that means it does not have any resistance so there is no resistance in this circuit only a inductance l and the dc voltage source is connected across this inductor through this switch now i want to make it clear that practically it is not possible to make resistance zero in any circuit but to just to understand this concept uh, we are taking here that the resistance is zero theoretically it is not possible practically now you must be knowing the current voltage relationship for an indu inductor uh, voltage v is equal to l di by dt the here voltage is this dc voltage which is connected across this inductor l is the inductance of the inductor and di by dt is the rate of change of the current what current which current the current which is flowing through the inductor so its rate of change of current is important now let us for an example take that the voltage source is its magnitude is 10 volts so i can write the equation or represent the voltage source through this relation v is equal to 10 for time t greater than 0 and for time t less than 0 the voltage source is 0 volt now by solving this equation through these steps i finally get i is equal to 10 by l into t I'm not not going into the mathematics. I'm just trying to uh, make you understand the concept behind it. So I is equal to 10 by L into T. Here we can see that current I is directly proportional to time T. Or we can say that as time passes, current becomes greater and greater. Uh, after uh, uh, passing a considerable amount of time current becomes large or if uh, speaking theoretically if we talk about time t is equal to infinite then at that particular time at that particular moment our current i will also become infinite so here uh, we must notice that when we are talking about a circuit or any electrical element uh, maybe it may be a inductor or a capacitor or anything if we allow a considerable amount of time to pass and then analyze that circuit then we are actually talking about the steady state of that circuit so when i am saying that at t is equal to infinity t is equal to infinite then current becomes infinite then i actually i am talking about the steady state for that inductor so suppose uh, we, we took a 10 volts source and the current flowing becomes infinite at t is equal to infinite just for a 10 volt source the current flowing in the inductor becomes so huge so large it becomes close to infinite then can't we say that this is a short circuit condition it it is in fact the short circuit condition when we short circuit a voltage source the current becomes huge it uh, becomes nearly infinite so that is why we can say that the current flowing through an inductor becomes infinite when we uh, let when we analyze the inductor after a considerable amount of time and this is the short circuit condition one thing which is important to note here that it uh, behaves like a short circuit the conductor behaves like a short circuit only in steady state 
not in the transient state what is transient state Trans transient state of the circuit uh, is during the time when i have just switched on my circuit when i have just switched on my switch and uh, if i am letting a considerable amount of time to pass and then analyzing my circuit then i am actually talking about steady state of my circuit here it is inductor suppose i take time equal to 1 microsecond here by putting t equals to 1 microsecond then i can see here that current i it would not come to be very large it, it would be some particular value so i can see here that during transient state uh, my inductor does not behave like a short circuit but during steady state the inductor will behave like a short circuit on dc supply so that is all in this uh, topic in this concept uh, i would uh, i i think you would be able to understand it so thank you very much for being in this video and uh, you must have uh, heard about one more concept that uh, current flowing through an inductor cannot change sharply it cannot uh, vary abruptly so in my next video uh, i will be taking this uh, concept and try to make you understand it till then uh, uh, you can uh, subscribe my channel and uh, like this video if you like thank you